Shumai Frenyai and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Anwin for anyone who's new here and let's get back into building in Planet Zoo and I'm continuing in the North America and Europe Zoo today and I'm sticking with winter for a little bit as well because even though it is the new year it is still winter and it's still absolutely freezing here so I thought it'd be nice to carry on with a couple more winter habitats and the alpine ibex is the perfect winter animal and I was doing a little bit of research on the alpine ibexes because other than the fact that I know that they can climb and they live on mountains I didn't really know much about them. I read this one fun fact which is not actually a fun fact from the Zoopedia. I will leave the link to the website I found it on in the description. It says that in the 18th century there was a common belief in Europe that the alpine ibex was a magical animal and the modern equivalent of this magical animal is Capricorn, a mark of the zodiac. And I thought that would be an amazing start to the year because it is still Capricorn season and I am actually a Capricorn myself so I thought it'd be fun to do something a little bit for me and something that would fit perfectly with the Alpine Ibex. So to start with I thought I would do a couple of mosaics inspired by the Capricorn zodiac sign and to get custom images like I have here on the billboards all you have to do is go into your documents get into frontier developments then planet zoo if you have any other frontier games and then to add in your own images you just go into user media and either move or copy the image you want into your user media folder. But I know if anyone else wanted to download this build, they would have to download these images as well. And I don't technically own these images. I got them of various websites, which I will put in the description as well. So I thought what better way of getting something that will just be available straight away from Planet Zoo is to do a mosaic. So I looked for some pixel art because I thought the pixel art would be a lot easier to turn into a mosaic. This is like the longest and most tedious process so I won't be showing everything but I also tried to get a Capricorn themed colour scheme as well for the Capricorn zodiac symbols. So I went on to Pinterest and had a look at lots of different Capricorn aesthetics to find a nice colour palette to go with the Capricorn theme. And it was quite funny because I've never really looked into anything like this. But sometimes I do think that I fit the Capricorn typical personality. I don't know. Um, sometimes I don't think like it really means anything. And then other times I'm like, oh, but that is too close to home. What zodiac sign are you? And do you feel like you fit into the typical personality of your zodiac sign? But I was looking at the colors and Capricorn is an earth sign. So there are a lot of earthy tones and quite boring colours to me and I'm quite disappointed. I picked this colour scheme because there's some lighter and darker shades in it for a really nice contrast and variation. I also wanted to do the astrological symbol. I think this is what it is. And this one was a lot easier to follow with the tiles than the goat was. I kind of had to mess around a little bit with the shapes because they didn't quite fit in perfectly with the tiles. So that was a lot easier and a lot quicker to do. The goat was the most difficult thing, but it's like the center piece for the build, which I like how I don't actually talk about until you see me do it, but you've seen the thumbnail and 
<laughs> the title of the video already it's not going to be that much of a surprise we are doing a capricorn castle and lastly i thought it would be really nice to create the capricorn constellation the star constellation and i knew there were star signs oh that's funny like <laughs> the actual star not the star sign as in capricorn but we had little stars that are in the new world style i think i think i might continue this little technique for other builds because it was very useful to have the reference image in game instead of looking it on like my second monitor or anything and i used the false stops for the smaller stars or the circles for the constellation as well and i'm just really happy with these the, the build boards are really really useful uh, it took me a little while to get my confidence up with putting things in the game like that but it's actually a lot easier than you would think right so i finished the artwork i skipped over so much of that because it is just tedious and now on to the castle absolutely perfect right it had to be it's my first video of the year so i wanted to start with something just quintessentially me i think <laughs> i'm using the new europe pack is it still new oh so last year right <laughs> i haven't really played around with much of the europe pack because my last build we did a base game only restaurant and the restaurant is actually just up the hill from this habitat and i am trying to focus on what the guests can see from the restaurant on the top of the hill as well as like from ground level on the pathways there's just so much like this build it took me almost eight hours to do but i have decided that i would rather spend more time on habitats and be really happy with them and be proud of them myself rather than trying to get out builds and get out more videos post more videos i'd rather be happy with the builds that i'm doing so that's why there's only going to be one video this week i'm definitely going to put more effort into the builds and instead of just being like okay i don't have time to build anymore this will do i've got to go on to the next video the next build i'm going to focus on making sure that i'm happy with the end result rather than worry about creating more builds and more videos but that's just an extremely long-winded way of saying i'm focusing on quality rather than quantity isn't it fuck it <laughs> And I love these church windows. Stained glass. I love these stained glass windows. I'm like church, church, nothing else coming into my head. Stained glass. <sighs> you can tell I've had a bit of break over Christmas, haven't you? I haven't recorded a make another joke about the new year. I haven't recorded this year, but I haven't recorded since before Christmas. And I'm trying to make this castle look less like just a stone box and more like an actual castle. So we're doing the bumpy bits. Oh, okay. So the bumpy parts of a castle are called the battlements. And it's uh, so they could look through parts of the wall and protect the castle. Trying to avoid certain words that the internet don't like so yeah the, they're called the battlements there we go <laughs> we learn something new every day because the fun fact said that it was the 18th century when the europeans believed that the ibexes were mystical creatures that this castle didn't seem old enough it didn't seem like it was from the 18th century and that these ibexes had been protecting their mystical home for that long so to make it feel a little bit more weathered and a little older i wanted to add in some weathering and some damage to this castle to make it feel older this is the first time i've ever been happy with how i've placed ivy on anything <laughs> i tried to make it all grow into one in one direction instead of spreading it from like here there and everywhere 
I've tried to make it feel like it's grown across and stretched across in one way instead of twisting it and waving it and I've just built on the direction of the one piece of ivy and stretched it across but the ivy wasn't quite enough to make it feel old and broken. I'm also playing around with some of the surface decals that we got with the Europe pack as well for damage and moss and uh, I remember saying in the Dole Habitat build video and that was ooh, a while ago now. I'll see if I can find a clip. It'd be really cool to have like a pack very themed, kind of like the Arctic one was kind of Christmassy. I'd love like a apocalypse themed one. There's no like cracks and dirt splatters. We kind of got to just work around it with the advanced move tool but yeah I think that would be really cool to add in. I quite like more decrepit, broken, abandoned look to things rather than perfect builds so these objects are like my favourite thing in the whole pack and it's kind of like meh because the alpine ibex is probably my least favourite animal from the pack as well not including the exhibit animal. The Ibex is my least favourite but now they're like Capricorns and they've got this cool castle, kind of like them a bit more. And usually in castles or in great halls you will have like the family symbol, like the lord symbol or the royal family's symbol hanging on flags and on shields. So I've added in the flags and shields for the alpine ibex on the back wall of the castle so like as you enter the castle this is the first thing you would see and what is a castle without a throne <laughs> this couldn't be a great hall or a grand hall of a castle without a throne i knew as soon as i saw that pillow that i would use it in some ridiculous manner but that is just <laughs> my favorite thing to do really some of these objects were just seemed like they were meant to be for a throne, I don't know. <laughs> and I also recolored everything to match in with the Capricorn colour scheme of course. And then I duplicated that but made it slightly thinner and slightly smaller for two smaller thrones on either side of the main throne. I figured that that could either be for royal children or a royal spouse I don't know I like the symmetry of it having three but having two thinner and smaller and I wanted to blend in the rock climbing enrichment item with the rest of the habitat I placed the enrichment item in the center of a curve of the pathway so the guests can see the ibexes close up gives the guests a little bit of entertainment as they have to walk up quite a lot of set of stairs to get up to the mountaintop restaurant. <laughs> but I did notice the enrichment item seemed like it was created by the aquatic pack rocks, the faux rocks. I tried to find any rocks that looked somewhat similar to the rocks used in the enrichment item to try to duplicate the look of the enrichment item without actually using the rock pile because the enrichment item flattens terrain whenever you put it it will flatten the terrain in like a really large space around it and that's really frustrating when you have this beautiful pre-terraformed map and I wanted to try and blend in this area more so the enrichment item didn't stick out so much but even though I basically duplicated the enrichment item, the ibexes wouldn't use them. I was really disappointed by that. Like, ibexes in the wild are known to climb things that you would not expect to be climbed. Like a dam, they're seen standing on a near vertical rock face. Like the terrain, they had no problems with walking up. 
but they won't climb on any of these rocks and seeing as the fact that I basically duplicated the enrichment item I thought they'd be able to climb on one or two at least but they couldn't but now I've filled out the majority of the habitat I put a few evergreen trees in as well just to fit in with the theme going along this part of the zoo as well I like to add these wall lights on the supports of the barriers I think that fits in really nicely it adds an easy way of adding in lights and keeping in with the theme because each of these lights has an animal on them so of course the ones on these habitats have the alpine ibex but yeah that's pretty much it for this build it was a lot but a lot that was very repetitive in this one so like the mosaics were really repetitive but they were really fun to do as well super re relaxing but yeah now we're on to the pretties let me know what zodiac sign you are and whether you think that you fit the typical personality of your zodiac I had a lot of fun with this one um, for my first build of the year. I did forget to say Happy New Year, which is Happy New Year in Welsh. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and if you haven't already and you would like to, it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. We're gonna stick to definitely Wednesdays and sometimes Saturdays for a bonus video for now and I hope you have a wonderful day and you've had a wonderful new year and I will see you next time. Goodbye!